In this video, you're going to learn how to create a digital breakout using Google Sites. So you could see here's one that is already created. I created it um, called Asteroid Collision. You could see that it has the story. It has the pictures that turn into links. It also has a word up here that is a hot link to go to a clue. We also have a Google form that we've inserted. The key to making your digital breakouts as easy as possible is organization. So you could see in my Google Drive, I've created a digital breakout. And this is my example that I'm making, so I just called it practice. Um, but you could see that I already have everything I need to create my site. So I've already got my color lock, my directional lock, my uh, four digit uh, number lock, and I also have my uh, word lock, um, which is this story and they have to answer this quiz to get the, um, the word lock. I also already have built my form. There are several videos online that you could watch how to create a, a digital lock form. Um, I encourage you to watch those. Um, I also have um, my story already typed up and ready to go um, so that when I go to put together my site, it'll be easy because I have all the pieces in one place. So to create a site, I'm going to go ahead and click on New under Google Drives. And then I'm going to go down to More. And I'm going to slide over and Open Sites. So you would enter your title for your page, which is going to be Asteroid Collision. OK. And then you can change your image here. So I'm going to select an image, which I already have in my Google Drive. And it's in my digital breakout practice. And I'm just going to use this one and hit select. And there's my background. You also need to enter a name for your site. Um, Asteroid Collision um, Practice. I already have one that I've made that's just called Asteroid Collision. And so notice that it already um, goes ahead and names it there as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put in a text box. And you can see over on this side of the screen, you've got things that you can insert. So one of them is a text box. You've got all kinds of things. You've also got pages if you want to add some more pages. And then you can change themes. I happen to like this impression theme right here. It gives you a little line. So I'm going to go ahead and get the text box. All you have to do is click it and it automatically shows up. I'm going to click on my script thing. So I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go back. And I'm going to hit paste. And notice that it's all right there. I'm going to make this a heading or yeah, a heading. So it's a little bit bigger. I have some pictures that I can add. So I'm going to go ahead and go to um, images. These are already in my Google Drive folder. So I'm going to go back to my practice folder. And I'm going to add this image. And I wonder if I can do two. Let me see. Control. Yes, I can. So I'm going to add those two images. And I'm going to say select. And notice that they just pop I'm up. i go to forms. And then it's going to have me search out forms. And I'm going to hit the asteroid collision that I've worked on today. And I'm going to hit insert down at the bottom corner. Let me move my picture back over. Now, one thing that's super important I have found, if you want kids to be able to do this on an iPad, you have to make sure that this is opened up all the way for all the locks that you have. So I'm going to keep dragging this down. 
so that I see all of my buttons and the submit button. Okay, so let's make sure that that shows everything that I want it to show. All right, so now we're going to start linking our objects that we have in our um, our practice our digital breakout folder to our site. So the first one that I'm going to do is going to be the story one that I've made, and I'm going to link it to a word in my story. So all I did was highlight it, and you see you get a toolbar that comes up here. Well, the first thing that I need to do is go over to my folder, and I need to open up my story. So here's my PDF that has my story about asteroids and stuff like that. And if I come over to the actions over here, um, it has a share feature. And in that share feature, do you see where it says get a shareable link? I'm going to click on that and it's going to give me a link. I'm going to hit copy link. I'm going to go back over here. I still have my link uh, thing up because my code word is still highlighted. I'm going to click in that and I'm going to hit paste and apply. I'm going to do the same thing with the pictures. I'm going to click. I'm going to go over to my digital breakout. I'm done with this one, so I need to go back and I need to open up my second lock. So let's go ahead and do the color lock. I'm going to click my um, three little dots over here, go to share, get a shareable link, copy link, Let's go ahead and hit done and go back. I'm going to go to asteroid collision, open up the link, right click, paste, apply. You can see that right now the codes this has, has a little underline. This one you know is lit because it ha is highlight, I mean hyperlinked because you could see the uh, link right there. I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to go back to my digital breakout. I'm going to get my directional lock. Open that up, go to the three dots, go to share, get my shareable link, copy link, done, back, go back over here, hit the, high, uh, the hyperlink, go to paste, apply. We are almost done. I'm gonna, all I have is one more to do. And do you see how easy it is when you have all of your pieces already put together. I'm going to go to shareable link, copy link, done, hit the back button. I'm going to go to here, go to the hyperlink, right click paste, apply. And just like that we are done. So let's look at it and see what it looks like um, with um, this done. So I'm going to go to publish. So I publish the site. Again, um, the site location is going to be um, Asteroid Collision Practice. It says that it's good. If you get a check that's not like this, it means that someone else has probably taken that name. I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. You can you can make sure no one else can search for it, but I like to make mine public, so I'm going to hit publish. It's publishing the site. And then down at the bottom, it's going to say your site has been published successfully, and you could hit this view button right here to see what it looks like. So now you could see you've got your story, you've got your um, codes, You've got your hyperlink, so if I go to codes right here, it'll take you to my asteroid story, and this link on the PDF takes you to my quiz. And then I could X out of this. I can go to this one, which is going to take you to my color lock. I'm going to X out of that one. I could go here. It's going to take you to the next hint, and they will figure out the clue from that and go to this one. They figure out the clue from this. I'm going to X out of there. 
and my site is completed. And that is how you create a digital breakout using Google Sites.